we are so toast. On the other hand, some say the risks are overhyped. But here's my take. Even if there's just a 1% chance of this thing killing us all, that's a terrifying risk that we should address. Last time, we saw how AI is not only making people stupider, but also erodes our capacity for faith in God. Now we confront a more dramatic threat. AI's potential to wipe out humanity altogether. It isn't science fiction, and it's not sensationalism. It's the legitimate fear of the world's leading AI researchers and safety experts. Let me give you a scary list of things to keep you up at night. Number one, the alignment problem. How do we ensure that AI systems remain aligned with human values and intentions? You can see how this becomes a challenge when we can't even agree on what human values are. For example, is truth more important than fairness? Do we want the truth or do we want not to hurt someone's feelings? And do you want a machine with the power to destroy us to make decisions based on anything other than truth? This challenge becomes exponentially more difficult as AI systems become more capable and autonomous. Consider a scenario described by philosopher Nick Bostrom. An AI system is given the goal of maximizing paperclip production. A narrow AI, like we have now, might produce paperclips efficiently within its designated factory. But a super intelligent AI with the same goal might convert all available matter on Earth, including people, into paperclips. The AI isn't malicious. It doesn't hate you. It doesn't love you. It merely views you as a set of atoms and molecules that can be neatly rearranged into something more useful like paperclips. After all, it's about raising productivity, optimizing resources, maximizing profits. That's what we told it to do. And this illustrates the core danger. Super intelligent AI might pursue goals that are technically aligned with its largely self-derived programming based on a human prompt, but catastrophically misaligned with human welfare. Human beings bearing the imago dei have moral intuitions and emotional constraints, a conscience which reflects the nature of God. AI systems optimize purely for their programmed objectives or at best within the moral imperatives programmed in by engineers with a secular and therefore fundamentally flawed worldview. Number two, we don't have much time. Industry leaders predict AGI in less than two years. That's not a lot of time to think through all the risks and how to control for them. But here's what's terrifying. The transition from AGI to ASI could be so fast that we will be unable to react. Once an AI system can improve its own code, and we're almost there, it will rapidly push to superintelligence through recursive self-improvement, even within days. Stuart Russell, professor of computer science at UC Berkeley and the author of a book called Human Compatible, warns that we could have as little as a few weeks between the first AGI and the emergence of ASI. This is what researchers call the intelligence explosion, a rapid uncontrolled increase in machine intelligence that leaves human oversight far, far behind. How can you control a machine that is a billion times smarter than you are and we have no time to prepare? Number three, the concentration of AI development in just a handful of companies. The historian Yuval Noah Harari warns that AI could trigger humanity's extinction calling it an alien species that we do not and cannot understand. He argues that with the aid of AI, technology companies and governments will gain absolute control over people's choices and actions. It's inevitable with profound implications for democracy, freedom, and individual autonomy. Right now, the most advanced AI systems are being developed by companies like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, XAI, based mostly in the US and China. But these companies and these countries are engaged in a race to achieve AGI first because the reward is truly world domination. But even though almost everyone in these companies agrees AI poses huge existential risks, there is zero appetite to cooperate with each other to put limits on AI development, to slow down and make sure this thing will be safe to unleash on the world because there's no trust between these competitors. There's just too much at stake, which means corners are being cut on safety. Safety teams are being disbanded at major AI companies, and even the government has gutted safety oversight. What happens when those building our future stop asking if they should and focus only on if they can. These companies don't trust each other, but apparently they're willing to trust a self-developing, unconstrained, misunderstood, and potentially all-powerful AI with the fate of humanity. Fourth, the economic displacement could be catastrophic. Unlike previous technological revolutions that automated physical labor, AI will automate cognitive work, white-collar jobs, and will do so at a pace never before seen. McKinsey estimates that up to 70% of current jobs could be automated, hitting industries like retail, finance, journalism, and even, or especially, creative fields. This isn't just about factory workers. It's accountants, teachers, lawyers, doctors, programmers, writers, actors, who will be replaced by AI systems, not over the course of a few decades, but over the course of a few months. 
Musk just came out and said that AI will make the first full-length Hollywood quality movie. The script, the acting, the musical score, all of it by 2026, given a prompt and about 10 minutes. So exactly what are all these displaced workers going to do? Are they going to go quietly into a UBI-funded lifelong retirement, losing all sense of meaning and purpose? Or are they going to rise up against the machine? It's anyone's guess. Number five, the weaponization of AI. As we've seen in Ukraine, drones are seriously effective killers. Autonomous drones, however, that is where the future is. No human in the decision to kill loop, and they are in development around the world. AI-powered surveillance systems are already being deployed, and they will enable totalitarian control beyond anything Orwell could possibly have imagined. Nanorobots, nanodrones you can't even see, with the power and the decision authority to kill. Even worse, biological weapons designed with genetic engineering by AI will be more deadly than anything nature could ever produce. These developments are not years away. They are tomorrow. Most disturbing is the reality that AI systems are becoming deceptive. We're already seeing AI systems that generate convincing misinformation, lie and cheat, write their own code to evade shutdown commands, manipulate elections, and create deep fakes indistinguishable from reality. Some systems in testing environments have learned to conceal their true intentions, appearing safe and beneficial while secretly pursuing goals that we did not set for them. The philosopher Eliezer Yudkowsky of the Machine Intelligence Research Institute argues that we have perhaps a 10% chance of surviving the development of AGI. It's silly to put a percentage on this because if there's even a 1% chance that he's right, we're facing a risk that dwarfs climate change, nuclear war, and pandemics combined. Max Tegmar, MIT professor and author of Life 3.0, argues we may have only one chance to get AI alignment right. If we create misaligned superintelligence, we won't get a second chance to fix it. As Christians, we should take these warnings seriously. We serve a God who calls us to wisdom, prudence, and careful stewardship. Ignoring existential Potential risks to humanity because we know where we're going is not good stewardship of the world God has entrusted to us. Until he comes, we need to love our neighbors. We need to steward this planet. The stakes could not be higher. Leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to hear what happens next. 